afternoon. My name is Daniel. I am the responsible of the present communication, the South Face of Tidico and Sunetica Musical Elements in Asian Music. Well, there have been a historical insistence in about the Eastern influence on Western music in the ancient world. So Greek music, uh, Roman music has been uh, has seen, been seen an image of uh, Greek music. And the Greek music as an image of the, of the music of Mesopotamia. Of the authors are Kesnagileman or the Kurdish Bank. It's true that we have many elements uh, from, the uh, from the Mesopotamian music, the Organology, musical theory, musical thought, and the music of ancient Greece. But it is obvious that Greece had many contacts uh, with other cultures from uh, the Mediterranean and the Near East, as the case of Egypt, and all these contacts are important to understand the Greek culture, of course, its music. In the case of Egypt, uh, we, uh, we have known the relationships and interactions Egypt and Greece for some time, and a recent contribution of the present subject, is the present book, uh, Greek Egyptian Interactions, Literature, Translation and Culture 500 BC, it is 300, uh, edited by Ian Rutherford and published uh, in 2016 by Oxford University Press. Uh, there have been, uh, there, there is, there are some chapters about literature, religion, uh, even kinship, but not about the music. And it is a paradoxical thing, at least for me, <laughs> uh, because um, we have uh, nowadays a uh, current research in the, um, in the music of uh, ancient world, and the music is um, has been seen one of uh, the most singular cultural aspects uh, in the Greek world, uh, and it's normal to start our history of Western music by the Greeks, uh, Greeks, and not uh, by the Egyptians, Mesopotamians, etc. In any case, the current research in the, uh, about the music in ancient Egypt has been interested in this question. Um, really, I'm not an uh, I'm a specialist in this question, but as a researcher in the music of ancient world, I thought it was time to do something in this aspect. And I propose you, in this communication, uh, a little trip for, this, uh, for a group of reflections about that. It is true that Egypt and Greece are, uh, are um, very different worlds, but if we analyze the concept of music of both cultures, we are going to find some surprises. In the case of ancient Greece, the music ethne, the art of music, the, mu the music, uh, is uh, composed by three aspects. The lexis, the spoken word, the ohersis, the dance, and the melos, which we translate as music properly but it is related with the singing and lyrical poetry as, for instance, Melodia uh, uh, song. In the case of Egypt, these terms, Hesin and Shema, we translate them as music, uh, unless they find these trans uh, translations, uh, the music or music, uh, but we uh, know that uh, it, uh, these terms are related with some types of singers. So we have a common nature of, uh, of the music in, in these cultures, a vocal nature of the music, and it has uh, its consequences. The first is a new vision of the lyrical repertory. Uh, the lyrical repertory uh, produced in Egypt and Greece are a group of musical scores without uh, musical notation, but the sound text uh, or uh, be performed with accompaniment of some instruments. And uh, these repertories are, uh, um, have, of, co of course, some relations, uh, as uh, I propose you there, the relation between the Egyptian love poetry from the Egyptian New Kingdom and the Sappho's love poetry, and even it's very personal. Uh, the art persons and the um, character, uh, the bar, the blind bar, uh, um, the modulus from the Odyssey, 
because uh, there are persons uh, um, are associated sometimes with blind musicians and uh, the uh, and the um, they are uh, optimistic uh, songs, as uh, the case of the Modocus, who uh, is in a banquet organized by Alcinus when they return uh, of Odysseus to Scythia. The other consequence is the instruments. Uh, the, because we have a common vocal nature of the music, the instruments are accompaniment of the voice, and all the, is, uh, mm, the, all the, the, the most important instruments in the organology of ancient Greece and ancient Egypt are the instruments who uh, allows the accompaniment, the self-accompaniment. So we are go uh, going to find many types of chordophones, arts, lutes, and uh, 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 lyres, and the Egyptian chordophones influence the Greek ones. Uh, on the other hand, the orophones and percussions are less uh, frequent, uh, but we are going to find them in both cultures. In any case, uh, all these questions are present uh, in Mesopotamia when the concept Namna, Sumerian, Naruto in Akkadian, the art of singing, is the same that the Melos or Heshi and Shemain in Egypt. And we, uh, fi uh, we find some uh, similarities. Uh, for instance, in the, uh, between the, the musical competition between the Lirico Saolo and Oretes Martias and some lines from the myth of Inanna's descendant to the Nether world. Because in an, uh, um, the sing and the percussion, the gala, is associated with Inanna, and the wind instruments are associated with the Murti. Um, and, uh, um, uh, and the, fi uh, the final, uh, um, I hope, uh, I don't know, but uh, the Murti uh, 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 has a very uh, bad final in the mid, if you uh, know a little bit the um, when. But while in Mesopotamia the music is associated uh, with the uh, god Enki, the god of wisdom and patron of all arts and intellectual skills, uh, it has an uh, ethical power to change all uh, natural and uh, non natural uh, beings. And they are associated uh, with the sadness. Sorry. <laughs> in ancient Egypt, the music is associated with, uh, with uh, goddess Hathor, the goddess of joy and happiness, love and fertility, and other deities uh, for an ancient Egypt associated with the music. I associated also with the joy, happiness, frankness, etc. Um, this common, this uh, um, enthusiastic, uh, um, happy character of the music is also present in the music of ancient Greece. So uh, I propose you the common roots me uh, the, uh, between melos, the song, the music, and many melitos, the honey or sweet things. And I propose you uh, these lines for uh, Martin Little Poets, the book Ancient Greek Music, where uh, we uh, can find uh, the association between the happiness and music in ancient Greece as a common, uh, 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 general thing. And it has, again, its consequences in both cultures. The first is in the dance. Uh, while in Mesopotamia dances aren't frequent, at least uh, mm, uh, uh, only with, uh, related with the goddess Inanna, the dance are present uh, in ancient Greece, though it is the dance. And in ancient Egypt, we, are, uh, we have many Fractions in the text and iconography with the, uh, uh, about the dance as an expression of the joy in the music. The second one, and first uh, important, uh, very important to me because I am a oboe player, <laughs> uh, it's uh, the earphones. In Mesopotamia, earphones are almost absent, and uh, the many in European cultures the um, Celtics, the Scandinavians, uh, even the Persians about uh, uh, after the text 
uh, by Herodotus when the Persians who didn't use the alloy or burials. Uh, the aerophones are present in ancient Greece, uh, um, but we have many critics uh, in the early literature. And in ancient Egypt, we are uh, we have many uh, pr the presents, uh, we have a big presence of the aerophones during all the uh, history of ancient Egypt. And uh, I tend to think that in ancient Egypt is uh, very important the reception of aerophones in ancient Greece, as uh, mm, because the, uh, the aerophones are an expression of the joy in the. The new, uh, an, an expression of the joy in music. Uh, finally, uh, it's, um, uh, it's a good thing, is the bad character of the music. Music is almost abs absent in the uh, scribal curriculum from ancient Egypt and the uh, wisdom literature of ancient Egypt. Uh, in, 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 the, in this literature, we have many allusions uh, or, of the, the music. And uh, in ancient Greece, we are going to find many um, critical allusions uh, to the music uh, associated uh, with a bad character and the musicians as wild people. Uh, that in Mesopotamia is, uh, is totally different when we uh, are going to find many uh, uh, allusions, musical allusions in the proverbs and other uh, uh, aspects of the literature. To sum up, sum up I tend to think the, that ancient Egypt are rele is relevant in the origins of ancient Greek music, but uh, the, uh, we must think all the influence in musical relations uh, in, the, in the antiquity, not only uh, a new Mesopotamian uh, Mesopotam music, a new uh, Egyptian music in the case of ancient Greece, <coughs> all musical traditions are related in ancient times because uh, for me, the key of ancient history and the music learned during our time is the exchange. Thank you so much for your attention. Sorry for my <laughs> sorry for my English. And if you have any question for me, I'll be glad uh, to answer it as much as possible. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.